שלום עליכם. I thought to myself. What I can tell you today, tonight. And Hashem really just told me one thing. Except of saying the truth that comes out from your heart, you have nothing else to say. To sell you stories. On how wonderful and beautiful the Holy Land is, how great it is to serve Hashem, how beautiful and awesome the Torah is. It's all true, but it's not what that I have burning with flames of fire stuck and carved inside my heart. what it is stuck inside of my heart and that's what I want to tell you is that we've been left behind and that we are all alone and that the only thing that we have is each other that's the only thing that we have. Only the love only the loyalty and the friendship that there is between us is going to give us the power to continue. If every one of us will bring his drop of truth into the battlefield so together we can make it rain only together only if every one of us will bring himself to the battlefield and will be ready to fight and to put his power into that crazy war that goes on outside only like that we can win. I cannot win alone. I'm telling you I'm ready to die, I'm ready to live, I'm ready to kill, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to survive, I'm ready to hold on for each and every one of you. For my children, for my family, for my wife, for my friends, for my students, for each and every one of you, for faces that I never saw in my life. I don't mind. I don't mind. But I cannot win alone. I'm telling you that and you should know it. Me alone, I'm zero. Only if you will give me your power, only if you will give me your hands, only if you're gonna give your prayers into that battle, into that fight, only like that we can win. I cannot win alone. I'm telling you that for sure. Alone it's only Hashem, He is alone. We, we need to hold ourselves together. That's the only way for us. The only way for us is to hold ourselves together. To love each other and to help each other and to fight for each other. That's the only way that we're gonna win. If you think that you can take care of yourself in your castle, in your home, in your place, in your career, with your money, with your wisdom, with your family, if you think you're gonna make it, you're wrong. Hashem will not gonna let you. Hashem will not gonna let you succeed all by yourself. Hashem will not gonna let you protect your family and protect your life if you still search for comfort, if you look for honor, if you look for your own individual success. You will not gonna make it. Hashem will not gonna help you to. 
Hashem gonna make your life so stressful and so crazy and so wild that you're gonna have to look for help that you're gonna remind yourself that you have brothers that you have sisters that you need them you're gonna look for brothers you're gonna look for sisters like you need fresh air because Hashem wants us to reunite Hashem wants us to be together that's our war that's our battle that's our fight to love each other and to fight for each other that's the only way that we can win the world is full with liars, with people that are lying to each and every one of us, trying to, 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 to cheat us, to steal from us, to take from us. There is only one way that we're going to reunite ourselves and going to receive the powers of each other. Only if we're going to help each other. Only if we're going to be strong in helping each other and giving our hands and our hearts and our mind into helping each other. Supporting the ones that are going and fighting and helping them, helping them to succeed. If you would know in which wars I'm fighting, if you would understand what I'm doing for every one of you, if you would just know how much I'm sacrificing, you would appreciate me so much. And if I would know how much you're doing for me and how much you're praying for me and how many tears you're crying for me that I'm going to succeed, I would appreciate you so much. And if I would know how much you're praying for my brothers and for my sisters and how many tears you cried until today for all of my family and for all of my friends and for my students and for my project I would admire you I would fight for you even more than I'm fighting for you today and I know that and this is why I'm fighting because I know that inside of your souls there is holy holy soul inside of your body there is the holy holy soul that is screaming to be revealed and I believe in you because I believe in myself because I found my own soul and I know that after I found my own soul I know that inside each and every one of you there is the same soul a holy soul a soul that the Yetzirah is working 24 7 to hide to deny to tell you that you're not worthy that you're not appropriate, that you're not having the powers, that you don't have the abilities, that you're worthless, that you're low, that you're a liar, that you're lazy, that you're pathetic, that you're nothing, that you don't have the, the ability. Lies on lies on lies on lies on lies. If you need me to confirm your, your souls, you're still far from finding it. If you need me to tell you that you have that soul inside of you, so you're still far from understanding what you have. You have power to conquer the world, and I have the same. And we're together, and we're in a war. We're in a war against the Yetzirah, against the power of darkness, and trying to conquer the world, and to make us feel so low, and so stupid, and so weak. We're not weak. And even if you don't see your powers, and even if you pray and you see that you haven't been answered yet, don't give up. The only way for us to win is never to back off. Never to back off. Never to give up. Never to give up, no matter what you see in front of your eyes. Your eyes are lying to you. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow your heart and to conquer the war and to beat enemies. Never back off. <coughs> you know why we have only 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers or 20,000 followers or 50,000 followers a month? You know why only that number and not 10 times more or 100 times more? You know why? Because we still don't believe in our powers. You know why rap stars and, and rock stars, they have more views than us? You know why Eminem got 100 million views on his videos? 1 billion views on his videos? You know why? Because he's not a liar. I'm not saying that his truth is higher. But he's holding his truth more than we. 
Maybe we have something to teach him also. From his point, where the tea is holding, he's saying the truth. He's holding the truth and he's not afraid to tell the truth. And this is why he's got more followers than us. Because people are searching for the truth. They're not looking for the highest truth of them all. The cleanest truth of them all. The most beautiful truth of them all. They're looking for honesty. They're looking for people that, have bra that are brave. That have courage to say the truth. That are not afraid to say their opinion. People looking for honest people, for people that are not afraid to say the truth and they're following them and they're going to continue to follow them and I'm going to follow them also. I don't need no one to follow me. I want to follow the truth. And as long as I'm going to keep on lying to myself, I'm going to be stuck in my own lies with my own self-pity and sadness and I'm going to keep on whining until I'm going to stop and I'm going to finish with all of those lies and I'm going to say the truth even if my truth is going to be to say that I'm lying it's better to say a truth like that that I'm lying to myself than to keep on lying to myself and to claim to hold the truth no I met a lot of liars in my life but people of truth it's very high, to, high, hard, very hard to find. Very hard to find people that are saying the truth. I'm suggesting you to drop all of your nonsense and to start looking for the real truth. First of all, the beginning of the truth to yourself. And don't give up to your fears. Don't give up to your fears anymore. Don't give up to your fears anymore. Don't give up to your fears anymore. Don't follow your fears anymore, no matter how much you're afraid. What's gonna happen to you? You're gonna realize that you're liars? So realize today that you're liars. Stand in front of the mirror and say to yourself, I'm a liar, you're a liar. So what? Is it so painful to know the truth that you're a liar? It's better to die as than of truth and to say I'm a liar than to cheat yourself for the rest of your life and to claim to be a man of truth. Say I'm a liar and I'm lying to myself and I'm searching for comfort and for fake honor to be part of a fake empire to be part of the lie and the darkness that denies the Creator, that denies the truth of this world, that denies the Torah, that denies the souls of the poor people. God said, I'm going to be with the poor, I'm going to be with the widows, I'm going to be with the orphans, <coughs> I'm going to be with the converts, I'm going to be with the broken ones. So where are you? Why are you looking to be with the rich? Why are you looking to be with the successful ones? Maybe Hashem in Barach is really with all of the widows, with all of the broken ones. So I'm asking you, where is Hashem? Where is that Creator that we're all looking for? If He said that He's going to be with the poor ones, so why are we looking always to be with the successful ones, with the rich ones? Why are we not looking to be with the poor? Why are we not putting all of our effort to go and to be with the poor ones, with the broken ones? Just to be with the poor ones, so what are we doing? Looking for our ways to the high windows. There's nothing over there. Hashem said, I'm going to be with the broken spirits. I'm going to be with the poorest ones of them all. So we need to go to be with those ones also and then we're going to be with Hashem. Where do you think that Hashem is? In the heights? Hashem is not in the heights. Hashem is in the exile. With His nation. 
with a slaughtered one, with a broken one, with a wounded one, with the bleeding ones. With them Hashem is. You want to be with Hashem? Go look for the poor. Go be with the poor. Go be with the broken ones. Go give your wisdom to the broken ones. Go give your money to the broken ones. <coughs> Don't look for ways to succeed. Find point of truth in your heart and be honest with yourself. to win, if you want to succeed, if you want to succeed big time, you need to give up on fake success of this fake world, of world of lie. Success in this world is nothing, is nothing, is nothing, is nothing, is meaningless. Eternal success is the success of the spirit, success of helping each other, helping the poor. That's the only success that there is. Only success that there is, is to go and to fight for the poor, to be ready to die for the poor, to be who that you are, to be loyal to the truth. And if you don't have the vessels to listen to me, so go look for another one to talk to you, to flatter you. I'm not gonna flatter you. I'm gonna tell you that you have a potential to become, to be people of truth that are searching for justice, that are ready to rebel, to fight for the truth, to stop with the fake and the lies, being hypocrites. Waving different flags depends on who they're standing in front of. Say the truth. Say the truth of your soul and don't back off. So what if you're gonna lose your fortune? So what if you're gonna lose your honor? Do you think it's gonna back you up in judgment day? In judgment day, you're gonna stand in front of the creator, king of all kings, the one that cannot stand lies. In front of him you're gonna stand. I wanna see your face lying to him in judgment day. No liar person will be able to stand in front of the creator, no matter how many titles he gonna hold, no matter how many millions he had in his bank account, no matter how many buildings he had in Manhattan. No matter how many people called him the rabbi, the holy righteous man, no matter how many people flattered him, in front of the creator, he gonna be zero. He gonna be a pathetic liar that was chasing for lies and honor and respect and fake and lies in an imaginary world, in the darkness, was feeding himself from lies, from lust and desires, for fake honor in the fake world. If you want to have share with those liars, so go look for them. You can find them in millions. But if you want to reconnect yourself to the truth, you can find it only inside of yourself, only inside of your honesty, in your dignity. If you're gonna claim for real justice to be done in this world, Real justice that will be done in this world. Fight for the poor, I'm telling you. You want to save your skin? You want to save your souls? Go fight for the poor. Listen to the voice of truth that is screaming from inside.
The hell with all of the lies. Stop with all of the lies. That's it. No more lies anymore. No, no more religion. No more theories. No more conspiracies. No more lies. Let your soul speak. Let your soul speak. And go and be brave. Quit the lies. Quit the fake. Quit the violence that goes wild outside against the weak, against the poor. Violence of people that have authority, that have power. Don't give them no power anymore. We need to fight the war of the poor ones, of the homeless, of the broken one. Of the ones that don't have no connections, that have no money, that have no power, that have no voice. We need to be their voice. We need to be their power. We're gonna be their religion. We're gonna provide for them family and community and home and shelter. If you want a truth, so that's the truth. Here you have it. The question if you're gonna be brave enough to follow your heart or that you're gonna choose to go and crumble. Into your dreams, into your laziness, into your fears. To follow me <coughs> and to like me on Facebook that's nonsense. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's not even the beginning. It's not the beginning. It's not even the beginning. You should be ready to sacrifice yourself. To be ready to sacrifice yourselves for the truth. To be ready to die for the truth. The truth is not something that you buy with $18 donation. The truth is something that you buy with your blood. It's something that you buy with your life, with your soul. When you commit yourself completely to the truth, not by donating $18 a month to the Amuna project. That's nothing. I gave my life, my family gave their life. People that are working with me in the Amuna Center gave their life. We're giving our life for the truth. And you're more than welcome to join us. We will not gonna let none of you to be left behind. We're gonna run after each and every one of your souls and we're gonna save you all. Because we took that as a purpose for our being to fight for the poor no matter what's gonna happen with us. That's the flag of the Amuna project. That's our mission, that's our goal. That's our statement. We're going for the truth, we're saving the poor, we're going to rescue each and every one of you. We're on our way. And if you don't believe me, meet me face to face. I'm gonna tell you the same truth when I'm gonna meet you face to face. No fear in our eyes. We're not afraid of no one. Fear is behind us. And we know that the power of darkness, of light, got its power from the Creator to keep on trying to fail us. And we're not gonna fail. And we're not gonna stop. And we're not gonna give up. We're just gonna continue and continue and continue to make another step and to rescue another soul and another soul and another soul until no one soul will left behind. No one soul will be left behind. I'm not gonna let one soul left behind. And if you don't believe me, so wait. 
because I'm not planning to surrender. I'm not planning to stop. There is no one in this world that is able to stop me. And if you think that there is, so you're with him maybe. I'm not planning to stop and there's no power in the world that can stop a person that have love and only love in his heart. Love to the truth, love to the Torah, love to his nation, love to his people, love to his students, love to every person that the truth is important and precious to him. Love to the good, love to the Creator. No one in this world will have the power to stop me. No one person in this world will have the power to stop me. And you're more than welcome to join me. And if you don't believe me, you can wait and you will see. The truth will reveal itself. You never saw the truth yet. You haven't seen the light yet. But from what that I saw, I can tell you that when the truth will come down to the world, Humility will come down to the world and all of the arrogant people that think that they hold the throne of honor They think that they hold the truth. They will be ashamed of themselves They will be ashamed of themselves One of the Tanaim is saying in the Holy Talmud in the Holy Gemara is saying this world is upside down When he went up to heaven, he saw that this world is upside down that the ones that are important in this world, in the world to come, they will be zero. And the ones that are zero in this world, in the world to come, you're gonna see their greatness, you're gonna see their glory, you're gonna see their beauty, you're gonna see their crown. Because also the Creator is upside down in this world. Everything is upside down. The truth will be hidden in this world. The truth will be hidden in this world, I'm telling you. Listen to the voice of Torah that is speaking from your hearts. Are the judgments that rules the world today, are they the truth? The sicknesses and the war and the bloodshed and the politics and the lies. Is that the truth? No, that's the lie. And it rules the world and it controls the world. Because the world is upside down. The world is upside down. And if you want to see the truth, so you need to stand up on your heads that everyone will say you're crazy. That everyone will tell you what happened to you. You lost your mind. Say yes. I'm joining myself to the voice of truth. To the voice of Emuna. The faith is in the night. The faith is in the night. You should join the night riders, the ones that are riding the storm, the ones that are riding the truth, the ones that are not afraid from the darkness, the ones that can recognize the sparks of truth in the deepest darkness of them all, the ones that their souls are glowing and shining in the darkness, that have no fear in their eyes, the ones that can see love, the one that can see and recognize good in the eyes of the lowest souls, of the most broken souls of them all, our souls, the souls of the people that been betrayed, the souls of the people that been left behind, those are us, those are us. Toys are not us. Heroes we are. Each and every one of us, we're heroes. We are the heroes. Heroes that are not afraid to be who that they are. 
in the hardest hours of them all, in the most terrifying hours, we dare to say the truth against the world of lies, to say who that we are, and not to surrender to a fake world, the world of lie. I'm telling you, no $18 donation will bring the redemption to the world. Only if you're gonna commit yourself completely to follow the light of your own souls. The light of your own souls. Not the light of my soul. I'm gonna follow the light of my own soul. You will follow the light of your own soul. Glued yourself to people that are like you. Support the ones that you feel they have the same light like you have. Believe that the light of your soul is real. And don't surrender the fears of the people that are trying to overpower on you and to conquer you under their own fears. That tells you don't chase your dreams. Give up on your dreams, on your hopes. Never give up on your hopes. Never give up on your dreams. Don't let no one rape you. Don't let no one force you. Don't let no one use you. No one. And if you see that someone is doing that to someone else, don't let him. Fight against that. Fight against humiliation. Fight. Fight for my life. Fight for my sisters. Fight for my brothers, for my children. Fight. Go and fight for me. For my brothers and for my sisters if you don't want to fight for yourselves. Go and fight and be a rebel and be who that you are. Don't follow no fake rabbis, no fake leaders. People that are selling dreams, selling lies. Don't follow no lie. Go protect the weak. Go save the poor. Your neighbor, your friends, your family, yourselves. Go redeem yourselves. I'm committing myself completely for the sake of the poor, for the sake of the broken ones. To save every, every, every broken soul. And the Creator is with me. And I'm not gonna be scared for no darkness. Because like that the darkness is shining in the eyes of the Creator, the Creator gives the eyes, His own eyes to the righteous. And then you can see in darkness. And then you can drive with your eyes closed. And then you can listen and you can hear the music to the harmony that comes out from the souls of the most broken and wounded ones. Don't listen to the lies of no fake rabbis, of no fake teachers, of no fake leaders that try to take advantage of you and use your powers. Be who that you are. Be an individual. Be unique. Be special. Welcome to Jerusalem. That's Jerusalem. The holy city of Jerusalem. The place that God chose to reveal His kindness from. That's Jerusalem. Welcome to the holy city, to the holy place of them all.
be brave and be who that you are and don't give up never ever give up never ever give up follow your heart follow the truth Welcome to Jerusalem. <laughs>